Hey guys, how are you? I got a question put to me on YouTube by Mr. Aka. So pain deserve, I had pain deserve, a commenter on YouTube. Anyway, he says, I have a question since you are wealthy and you're like the only person I could imagine even close to answering this. Is school worth the time after sixth, seventh grade now that I know? Now I know unless I want to work at SpaceX, I don't need to know 9% of the things you learn in eighth grade. I am an eighth. I am more interested in money and coding or gaming than school. What is your, uh, I guess he's, he trails off here. What is your opinion? So I'm going to answer that question. Yes. Um, so I assume seventh, eighth grade, it's, it's middle school. So let me explain education to you. There's two levels of education. And I come from a family of teachers and I work with schools for over a decade. So I have a background, but I'm also, I'm much more of a business person. Anyhow, there's two levels to education. One is to learn practical skill sets. And the other area is to build mental strength or power and flexibility in the mind. The brain is like the rest of your body in that when you put more pressure on it, it becomes stronger, more capable. If you learn different things and different ways of thinking, it makes your brain and your mind more powerful. Just like if you do cross training or CrossFit training, or you do mixed martial arts where you do ground game and you do stand up, striking ground, submission, you get better and better as a fighter more well-rounded. The more ideas and the types of knowledge that you expose yourself to, the more capable you will be. So since you're quite young, which is fantastic, by the way, if I could be your age now, somebody said to me, Uncle Steph, you're old now, Uncle Steph, and um, I'll make you I'll put you back into 6th, 7th, 8th grade again. Well, 7th, 8th grade. But I'm going to take all your money. You're going to start from zero. Would I do it? In a moment without thought or hesitation. So you have a good, you're in a good position as a young person. So first of all, that's number one. Number two, you're at an age still, this is where my psych background, psychology background comes in, so I know the science. You're at an age now where your brain is still very much in its development stage. You're still developing. So what you should be doing now is you should be training your brain as much as possible with advanced ways of thinking, because this is going to force your brain to create new, uh, new connections, which will make you much more powerful mentally later on. So you got a few more years of that. So some subjects in school, you are, uh, you may not be learning direct knowledge, but it's kind of like doing push-ups. So for example, if I was trained to become a professional boxer or MMA fighter, uh, we all do push-ups. Lots of, lots and lots of push-ups. Now push-ups doesn't have anything to do with actual fighting right? You're just doing push-ups, but it builds up your body and helps a lot in terms of um, becoming a professional fighter, right? Uh, same thing with jogging. All professional fighters will do a lot of jogging to, to improve their cardio. Now, again, in the ring, when you fight, you're not exactly jogging, but you still jog because it helps the game. So a lot of subjects, especially at your age, sixth, seventh, eighth, you know, when you finish high school, you're learning a lot of different things. A, to strengthen your brain. So it may not have direct consequence on what you want to do, become a game developer or become a developer, or make money, but it's training your brain like push-ups and road work, jogging trains a fighter. So I know when you're, uh, I remember when I was your age, I know it's a long time ago, but I still remember. Um, you want to just do stuff. Nothing stops you from doing stuff, making money while you go to school. So 
Can you be successful without finishing high school? Sure, some have. I've known some very wealthy people who have. But at the same time, I would suggest just at least finish high school and on the side, work on your programming, work on your coding, start doing some freelance work, you know, um, think of going to school and learning all these subjects that are boring to you. Think of it as a way to, to do push-ups. You're just training yourself. Also, uh, the, bless, the best place to, uh, to date is actually at school, not the apps. So, you know, that's another advantage of staying at school. Better dating prospects.